possibly live? I don't know. Let's try the chats. Is that working? I hope it is. Where's Tarantula? Ah! ah. Tarantula! Images. Okay, so let's try and get this tarantula painting finished. I can't remember what colour I was using last time. Sap green, light green. I think it was sap green. So yeah. Guess where you are? Um I don't know. Somewhere interesting. Where are you? Tell me. I can't guess. Guess where you are. You've got the entire world to pick from. Unless you're in Newcastle. Around to Egoland. Legoland, what in Denmark or somewhere in England? Hello George, how's it going? I think this painting definitely needs a third tarantula. I'm just looking for one in a pose where I can paint it in. Maybe this one here. Love the music. Well, I'm picking, this is just Incompetech music, which is, uh, I don't know if you know Incompetech. Pretty much any royalty free music seems to come from their website. The Windsor one. Oh. Is it exciting? Well, it, it can't be that exciting if you're watching me stream. Thank you, George. I'm going to be uh, just finishing this off today. I don't think it'll take me long, this painting. It's um, just a nice chilled painting, I guess. A nice uh, easy one. But definitely needed an extra spider. I actually started working on, on a game a while ago and it had uh, tarantulas in it. It was like a spectrum game but I was doing like a survival horror game where tarantulas pop out and chase you around but I never got it finished. I should, do, I should try and do it finished. I basically got as far as making the tarantulas run around on the screen and chase the player and, and then I couldn't really think of what to actually make with the game, like, you know, gameplay wise. So it just stayed how it was. Okay, so tarantula. You just met Emmett from the Lego movie, I don't even believe you. I don't even believe that. It's possible. So hopefully this is some music that won't get me copyright striked. And so far every piece of music I've ever played in my streams has got copyright striked. Or copyright claimed I should say. I, can't, I keep saying strike but it's not really a strike because a strike is a different thing. Strike is bad news. Whereas this is more just like, oh, we're going to take the money off you. You're not going to be able to monetize it. We own this now. We own this whole thing because you used a bit of our music. But this is in Compotech music, which is completely royalty free. So hopefully it'll be all right. I might have to put a, 
might have to put some credit in the description. I don't know. I can't hardly like I, I remember when I was a kid we used to go to Legoland in Denmark. But I can hardly remember it. Really. I remember it being cool and liking it there, but as for what was actually there. The only thing I can remember was this boat ride where it would, like, now I think of it, it must have been a really crappy ride. It was just like some boats going around a, in like a oval shaped track and there was like, um, like Lego things around it and one of them was like the, um, like Mount Rushmore but made out of Lego and you kind of went past it on the boat. And I remember thinking it looked massive, this Mount Rushmore. I bet if I saw it today, it'd be tiny. And this was this was in Denmark, this one. But I remember that really well. And I remember some kind of train ride as well. But other than that, I don't remember hardly anything about uh, Legoland. Apart from thinking it was Ace. Which it was. It was definitely Ace. Oh. So I wanted to get this finished on uh, Wednesday, the same day I was pa I was painting it, and I thought, right, I'm going to go and take a break. I always, I always say like, oh, I'm going to take a break, and I'll come back later, and I never do, but. I do actually have a genuine excuse in that I was going to let the paint dry and then come back. So I went off and did some other things. And then when I was going to come back, this is God honest truth, there was a massive power cut up the whole street for ages. And uh, there was no way I could stream. The internet went off and everything. So, uh, just in case you're thinking I wasn't streaming on purpose. That's actually got a genuine excuse this time. And then I got a message off string saying, please come and finish this painting. I was going to do something else today and I thought, oh no, I should, I should finish this painting really. It won't, make, it won't take me too long and quite a nice relaxing painting to do. Thick paint on there. It's, it's not like you know. One of some paintings I like spending ages over. This is just a nice sort of chill painting. Which I've been doing a lot of recently, to be honest. I should go back to making like a nice um, long painting at some point. Nice to see you. Oh, the power going out. It wasn't that fun, really. You know what? It is kind of fun sometimes when the power goes out and it's dark. I, I remember like quite a lot when I was a kid the power going out when it was dark now and then and they've been quite exciting like ooh in the dark and then you know the the feeling of not being able to just immediately turn on a light and, and vanquish the, the dark and like putting out candles and stuff it was actually kind of exciting but this was just it was kind of like it, it was kind of um, starting to get dark so it wasn't really dark but it was like just dark enough to be annoying. You know what I'm, now I'm saying? Now I'm saying. So I put on some candles, but they didn't really do anything for the light. 
because it wasn't dark enough to really make much appreciable difference but it was still too dark to really do anything like read a book so it was just that kind of annoying in between good thanks you I'm all right thanks oh, that, paint, that spider down there didn't come out too well I need to fix him but we'll let him dry while I work on the other ones um, I'm not really sure what what red I was using was it this primary red it was kind of fun lighting all the candles though that was the only thing and um, the only thing is all the candles I've got in my house were scented ones so um, it just ended up stinking the house out like imagine the st stench of like 10 different scented candles going at the same time with frightening regularity power cuts on this area. I feel like I'm living in like a semi third world country. My body shop. What? That's good. It's good to know. Oh, sorry. The scented candle thing. God. I'm slow, honestly. It's just a delay on the chat. I thought you were just telling me about your day. Oh, I'm walking by body shop. That's good. Sounds like a Radiohead song, this, whatever it is. Do, do. Can't remember what Radiohead song, I think it's off Kid A or Amnesiac. It's a song that sounds just like this. <laughs> Never mind. So honestly, I'm really slow, like, the d delay in the chat it's like only it's only a slight delay but it makes me lose track of the conversation really easily I'm sorry Leon I'm slow on the uptake don't worry about me do do bit of tone, tonal variety. I'm gonna work on a shrouded hand video today. I haven't been, I haven't been working on one this week. You notice there is like we're watching on, between watching it on a phone and laptop. Oh, like there's more delay on the phone. Maybe it's because you're like on the 4G or something. most of this painting with a big brush as well. Very different to my usual paintings where I'm trying to go in with like the detail brushes and stuff. I just, I don't know. I feel like doing something slightly different. Psychedelic colours and, you know, 
mix it up a bit. <clears throat> Quite liking the result though, to be honest. You've been getting rich out of it. Well, some, some are better than others. Quality wise as well, like <clears throat> when I first started making them I didn't really know how to like record my voice properly because um, you know on my other channels I've just been recording my voice through like uh, my phone or whatever and I wanted it to sound good so I like bought like a microphone and everything and uh, by trying to improve the quality I actually made it sound worse because I didn't really know how to set up the recording like settings on my computer or anything <clears throat> so if you listen to the early like the early videos I didn't even have any commentary on them at all but then when I started adding commentary they sound really bad I've, I've gone back and listened to some of them I'm glad I'm glad I've improved since those days I don't know what to do a video on I was gonna do a video today but I don't know what to do this week not really too sure. These spiders look horrible, don't they? Ooh. Right, I had a blue that I was using last time. I can't even remember which blue it was. I don't think it was this primary blue, was it? I get the feeling it was a different blue. Maybe this one here. Was this too dark? Looks more like that. Let me just put a little test. Let me put a little test drop on there. Spicy drop. Right, let's see. That looks more. That looks quite like it. Right, that'll probably do. Gonna add. By the way, anyone watching? A little my, my usual shilling of my work. Um, there's still paintings available for sale on eBay, which uh, one was that Freddy painting. One of them is an abstract piece that I did on one of my hour streams. Very reasonable prices. Very good paintings. High quality. Link in description. Also a link to my uh, amazing um, prints. Buy yourself a print, signed by me. Very reasonable prices, yet again. Guaranteed I'll be famous one day. And you'll be like, oh, why didn't I buy that print when it was so cheap? Now they're worth millions. And I didn't get one at the time. I missed out on that opportunity. I, I, got, I had an opportunity to buy an actual original painting by the amazing Thomas Dentif, world-renowned artist. And it was like nine quid. I, I, had, I had my opportunity and I didn't take it. That's what you'll be like in the future. Raunchy Freddy Krueger. 14 times, yeah. Um, I used to read that a lot. I used to buy the print copy of 14 times and I used to like it a lot. It used to give me a lot of inspiration for videos. But I stopped buying it in the end because uh, I found it was. Um, I found I was getting the same articles after a, after a certain amount of time. It 
it's like they got amnesia about what articles they've written in the past. Like there, was, there was an interesting article about um, oh, what's his name? <laughs> the Diddy Men guy. I can't remember his name. I know Tom ASMR video. Tom likes him. The comedian and. Basically, there was an article about how he created this like mass panic among school kids by saying there was Diddy men around, and these kids thought that the Diddy men were real, and they were like hunting them down. And uh, you know, it was an interesting article. But then, like a year later, they had exactly the same article in there again. I was like, oh, why not? It. I'm not buying it anymore. Then, if you're going to recycle old articles, I don't need to. I've already read this. But I do like 14 times. I like that. I like that mixture of skepticism and uh, sort of open-mindedness that they have. They've got like a, r a real nice balance of it, you know. A lot of time when they write about something, it's just like they report on what the papers said happened or whatever. They don't try and embellish it or too much and sometimes they'll they'll add their own like editorial that kind of offers a possible explanation for it. Which is nice to see. Yeah. I stopped buying magazines though because they were too expensive. I used to get 14 times in retro game and it used to cost me like seven quid a month or something. No more than that, probably about 10 quid a month on magazines. And I thought, bloody hell, that's quite a lot over a year, isn't it? Don't even think you've seen them in the news. They were hard to get. I remember when I used to buy it, I used to find it quite hard to get hold of. Half the time you, when you find them, they're like hidden away on the bottom shelf somewhere. And they only ever have like one or two copies in. Also, I think it started getting a bit dry for me the 14 times. Like the format of the format of a lot of the articles got a bit boring, you know. I tried to get a bit serious at one point, and uh, I found it a bit dull. I'm buying it and thinking I'm not reading half of this because it's it's not really interesting me, and then I, I stopped buying it. But it's got it's got like a long history in the 14 times, you know. Remember two V series I did, yeah, I remember that. And um, with Lionel Thanthorpe. Reverend Lionel Thanthorpe. Yeah, I used to watch that. I think I had a, I think I used to videotape him as well. Or TNT V. Yeah, it was cool. Was that on four later? 
I remember I remember there was a lot of things on four later that I used to watch. Like it, I remember that had that kind of feel to it, like slightly homemade looking. TV shows. Don't have them so much anymore. It's kind of a kind of thing that, like, I remember Four Later was. It had bits. I remember every show on there was good. There was, I think one was called Vids, and they used to re review like horror movies. They had one called Bits, and it was um, like video game reviews. And they had one called um, Exploitica, which is probably my favourite. It was like all these old exploitation movies, but like. Silly sound effects played over them and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if 14 TV was part of that, but I, I, I seem to like lump them together in my head when I think of them. Yeah. I think I think that sort of stuff that you would have found on Four Later and places like that and just weird TV shows that used to exist. That's the kind of thing that would now just appear on YouTube instead. You know? That kind of homemade sort of low budget type of stuff. It kind of just finds its home on YouTube now. I think that's probably why people are losing interest in TV. It's all, I mean, it's it's not like I'm saying it's bad quality on TV, It's all, but it's all like very high quality, high budget stuff. And uh, doesn't really have a place for the, like the weird, slightly independent feeling TV that used to be on, sort of early noughties, late nineties, that kind of era TV. I remember there was just there used to be loads of really cool programs about um, the paranormal and stuff. Remember like that one that Carol Vorderm in Strange but True. And there was all, there was this like American one. I can't remember what it was called, but it always used to have this. Remember they always used to go on about this story where this guy got like it was like this guy lived in a house and he used to constantly get scratched by this. <laughs> the devil baby or something. They always used to go on about that story. It used to creep me out. That's the kind of thing. I'm, I'm sure there must be shows like that on TV now, but it's just I don't know. I think pe I think people go to YouTube for that kind of content. proper TV anymore. I watch quite a lot of, um, you know, uh, Netflix and stuff. What have, been, what have been watching recently? I watched a film last night called The Endless, which is quite quite interesting. 
got these guys who were formerly part of a cult and they go back to visit the cult. Or so it's, they, they say it's a cult, but it's a bit sort of when you get there, it's like it's more of like a commune. And then just weird stuff starts happening. It's all very like mysterious and uh, quite an interesting film actually. It's all about like time and space being distorted. Quite a cool, cool movie. It's a kind of movie where I imagine there's lots of theories about it and you could get a lot of breakdowns of it on the internet, people explaining different bits of it that you missed and stuff. Yeah, Netflix and YouTube. We're watching quite a lot of all four, is it? I've been watching um, 30 Rock, loads of 30 Rock recently. Me and Alex like to find like a comedy show kind of just to sort of binge watch something that we can watch together because like half the time like a lot of the lot of the shows I like to watch she doesn't like to watch and vice versa so she likes to watch like Hollyoaks and stuff I've got no interest in it but if we want to watch the TV together usually we can agree on some kind of like comedy show usually like an American show or something so uh, yeah, Thirty Rock's been the one we've been watching recently. We've also been watching that. Um, there's like um, this Australian comedian. He's got a new show on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called. Lunatics or something like that. It's called. That's pretty funny. Bye, gum. Is that music finished? Let's see. Is this find something else to play? Hmm. Oh, full search. Yeah, watch Lunatics on um, on Netflix. That's good. Also, I don't know if you've watched Thirty Rock. That's quite quite entertaining. Um, what else do we watch? I'm trying to think of other comedy shows. Um, the, our favourite show, like to watch together, is um, The American Office. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like together, we watched a series, like every series of The Office, about three or four times. Um, the League is good. Uh, The one community. I think these are all on Netflix or more for or something. Oh, I'll tell you what I watched. Uh, Lunatics. Oh, I'm Thirty Rocks not on Netflix. It's on, I think it's on all four or something. Um. Oh, what else? The league, the league might be still be on uh, Netflix. That's where we watched that. That's the kind of show it took me ages to get into. I didn't like it at first, but that's good once you get into it. I'm trying to think what I've been watching on Netflix. I'll tell you what I watched the other day, which is good. I recommend it. A film called The Ritual. I don't know if you've seen that, Leon. If you like your horror movies, I recommend that Ritual movie. It's fucking crazy.
pure good, mate. Pure good. That ritual movie. Pure. It's pure good, mate. a shadow underneath these spiders. Shadow underneath the spiders. Yeah, ritual man, watch that, that's really good. I love that movie. Crazy, hello, looking very cool. Thanks. Thanks very much. Must have, been, must have been removed. It was ages ago we watched The League. But, uh, I feel like The League is something that I recommend to people and they'll watch it and then they won't like it. I feel like it's a real slow burner, that show. Especially because, like, if you, like, because I didn't know anything about, like, it's all about, like, American sports and stuff, which I don't know anything about, so. When I first started watching it, I was like, eh, this is not going to interest me. One of them ones always comes up on a list of like top American comedies and stuff, and it's like when I started watching it, I was like, I don't, I don't really don't see what's so good about it, and then I was like, right, I've got to stick with this because it's meant to be really good. Yeah, the trenches look like they're following each other. I know that it's like creates kind of like little sort of a train around the canvas, almost. This one down here is looking a bit bare now. A bit nothingy. He needs a bit of work done on him. Creepy. The tarantulas are very creepy. of the radioactive arachnids. It's 
see this bit doesn't dry now. This is what I left the last time. And then I had a power cut, so I don't stop painting today. In case I curse myself to have another power cut. Think of what else I've been watching on Netflix. Mostly, um, when I'm like watching something for myself, I'll, I'll like look for like a horror movie to watch. Yeah, they look almost luminous. That's because of my very clever. You, you see, I'm very clever and wise. You see, Leon. Putting the yellow tarantula on top of the purple background. What that does. Let me educate you. Let me educate you, Leon. I'm sure you'd know. You've got a photographer's eye. Those, those contrasting colours, you see, bring each other out in the most beautiful way, creating yet again another masterpiece, another triumph. Worth thousands, this painting. I'm going to be putting it on for 20 quid on eBay. That is an absolute bargain. I tell you what, it's, it's, it, I'd say it was a gift to humanity, this painting. I don't wanna I don't wanna sound big headed, but I'd probably say this is one of the best paintings ever created. Not just by me, but I mean by anyone anywhere in the entire universe. Not wanting to sound big headed, but I don't think it'd be any exaggeration to say that I am the greatest man in the world. <laughs> That's why I was particular about the colour of trenches. You see, Leon, it all comes together. It's a genius at work, you see. And you get to watch it all. gift to humanity and there's so many plebs out there that just don't appreciate it philistines that would look at this and just think oh it's just some tarantulas they don't appreciate the beauty of the work they don't they don't appreciate the true artistry here you see 
plebs. All of them. <laughs> uh, God. This spider down here is looking a bit weird. I don't know what's going on with him. When he dries, I'll be able to get a better idea of how. Yeah, I think this would actually cure people of the arachnophobia. It's that good. It's that good. for a second. Good. So now I'm gonna add the white. I've gotta be careful here. I've gotta be careful. So if you can't be good, you've gotta be careful. painted with the same brush as well. Another example of my absolute mastery of the medium of painting. An absolute mastery of it. painting when you're painting the whole world paints with you Okay, okay, okay. Let me 
I see. I see the trick. I see the trick. Oh no, that's too thick that paints. Oh no, that's too thick that paints. Need more people. How do I get that? How do I get people to view them? too white where's some of that let's tone that back a bit ooh I don't, get, I don't know how to get more people to view it. I think what it is, right? And this is my honest opinion. <laughs> I think what what the thing is, right? There's, there's such masterpieces these paintings that only a few select geniuses in the world can truly appreciate it. So this is why my my streams get so few views, right? Because there's only a few people. Like how many people are watching right now? Who knows? Four people watching, right? Four people in the entire world have the artistic genius just to be able to appreciate the masterpiece on display here. You see? They're actually so, they're so good. They're so ahead of their time. Um, anyone watching this stream should feel very proud of themselves of being you know part of the part, part of the elite really the elite art appreciation aficionados <laughs> out of what how many billions in the world that's the only explanation i can think for it really Oh, Paul, yeah, Paul Eyeballs on the Instagram. His paintings are really good, man. That'd be cool if he paints one of your one of your uh, photographs. I hope it's. I hope he's going to paint the uh, <laughs> the one with the rat attacking the the bird. That'd make a good painting. Thirty-nine K views already. What was that on Flickr? I didn't even know Flickr was still a thing.
doesn't doesn't really work with the rest of the painting. I don't know why he just doesn't really want to play ball. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, I'm not very good at I'm not very good at advertising myself to be honest. I think maybe I should get myself a, a marketing manager, which is actually my my wife is trained in marketing marketing management. So I should get her to do it really, but you know. She's actually good at a job and would demand paying, so I need to find someone who'll do it all for me for free. to get some commissions going um, that's something I'm gonna be doing so like this size painting if someone wants a commission I do it for like you know like whatever they want painted personalized painting for 50 quid but I need some way of like advertising that you know whatever you want painted on here but then I'll, I'll be worried that like I'll do something and then it won't be very good and someone will feel like Maybe bad about telling me that or something. Hey, 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 I don't know what's going on with the spider down here. It's very much in the dark. Huffy, Huffy, how's it going? Thank you very much. it around yep that's definitely the hard bit I'm just not very I think a lot of people are like this some people are good at like the doing the things and not very good at like putting their work out there do something on my other channel really that would probably be a good way of getting a message out there but I don't really know what to do
Just, uh, I need this to dry off, but I don't want to go off again because I'm scared of it. I'm scared of the stream. The, I'm scared of the power going off or something. Let's just do a few dots here. Might come out nice and expressive. It's better than here, yeah, but worried about him looking shit, basically. Hmm. <laughs> well, at least you're at home. Doing something interesting. You're not like sat in a factory, which uh, I've done in the past and I fucking hated. I couldn't imagine being doing that. No offense to anyone who works in some job like that, but I just mean the whole nine to five grind type of thing. Sitting in an office, working in shops. Therapeutic art. You did A level in Liverpool. Pottery life drawing. <laughs> I used to like um I used to like doing pottery. When I was in college I used to you know, have access to like a pottery thing. And I used to really love it. This paint's looking really dark on the stream now. It's um very bright in real life. I think the lighting in here is not too good. Let's see if I can change that. Yeah, I used to like doing pottery. And now, um, you know, just I don't have access to anything like that anymore. But um, let's see if we can brighten this image up a bit. Doesn't look very good. Looks a bit dark. Oh, no. Maybe that's a bit better. Max Max Beck Spoodermans, yes. <laughs> Very spooky painting. Yeah, when I was in college I used to love doing pottery and uh you know, you had access to all this stuff when you were in like art. In, I went, to, I did art at uni and at college, and you just have access to all these amazing things. And I really didn't appreciate it at the time. And now I'm not there anymore. My favourite thing was life drawing, like just having a, like sat sat there for ages, just painting a figure. Loved it. I'm not bringing much money in when working for yourself. Well, I get a side a side hustle going. I'm just I'm just selling shit on eBay. You can check my other listings on there. They don't sell very well, but I'm trying to uh, bring a bit of money in. Ashtrays and masks. Yeah, I remember the best thing I did was like this big sculptural like thing, which was like a, I can't, it was like a figure, but it was like I had all holes in it, and then I just painted it. I didn't know what paint it was because it's like the the ceramic paints. You, you don't know what color is going to come out as until it's fired. And I just slapped paint on just randomly, and it came out. It looked absolutely amazing. I've still got that. I think my parents have got that sculpture actually. One of the best pieces of art I've ever done. I made a bong. I think I've still got that, but it, it stopped working after a while. I made a working bong and it was massive. It was like this big thing and uh, yeah. First time I tried it, it must have just sort of got clogged up or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think I might call this painting done. I quite like it. It's nice. It's a nice simple painting, I suppose. I don't know whether uh, it's a bit too simplistic, but I kind of like just having a nice chilled painting time. 
and uh, I might paint the edges of it in my own time. I might do like a yellow, yellow paint around the edge or something. But uh, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with it. It's a very odd painting. So let's take a look at some tarantulas. Maybe uh, let's actually do a bit of a few white bits in some places. It's a, it's a vague tarantula, it's not really any particular tarantula. It's sort of based on these stripy ones, but it's not a, it's not a particular design here. See you later, Huffy. Thanks for stopping by. You wish you could buy this plane, but your flat broke. Well, I know the feeling. I keep seeing things on eBay that I want to buy. I'm like, ah, no. I want to buy that. I hate being broke. People really sad you haven't bought any stuff. Why do you feel sad about it? You've been here supporting me on the live streams for pretty much every live stream I've done. I really appreciate that. Oh, which one did you bid on? I remember the only, actually the only one I can remember where there was like a bidding war going on was uh, Oh, that one with the orange juice. Oh, man, someone that video. You know what, as well, I don't think... If it was that orange juice one, I don't think... Um, I don't think the person who bid on it watches my streams. I'm not sure. Because I looked at their profile, or like what else they were buying, and it was all like paintings, like people's artwork on eBay, so... I thought oh, the only people who would buy these paintings would be people who watch the streams, but um, yeah, it, it turns out I think sometimes people just buy them because they like the paintings. <laughs> well, no, 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 I really like that painting as well, that orange juice one. I think that's one of the best paintings I did, and it was only like an hour long painting. I should do some some more like that. That style, just like slapped on paints, really crazy colours. Uh, I guess, do these spiders have eyes? I wonder, because I know strings wanted eyes. I wonder if... I 
do little red dots on them and then we can have little red dots in the in among the bushes There's a big van outside. I reckon they're going to start off making a racket next door soon. Still doing work on that house. They've pretty much just gutted the entire house. I don't know what it is exactly they're doing. Have to join eBay. This, uh, this guy's eyes are not in the right place. God damn you. God damn you, why are your eyes in the wrong place? Okay, there we go, look, we've got some creepy eyes. You probably can't even see them on the on the painting stream. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the stream here. Yeah, but there's little eyes peering out. Can we see him? Doesn't like it doesn't like going up close. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sign this and call it done. Nice. I don't want to overwork it. I kind of like how it's done. Kind of like how it is. And then I'm gonna have to try and take a picture of it for eBay. But that's the, always the problem. It's um, photographing my work never comes out right. Let's put a little signature down here. Should I do a signature on this side? That makes more sense, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't make more sense. I don't know why people people don't ever sign on this side, do they? It's probably a reason for it. But today we're going against the grain. There's a bit of empty space over here. Do 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 do. do. All right then. I know what I'll do. I'll put it on eBay right away so that I, I don't um, forget about it. List an item. Oh wait, I can't remember what size these paintings are. Um, it's old. 10 by 12. No, wait, that's not right, is it? 9 by 12. God damn bloody fungus nuts. Get out of here. Makes sense because I'm left handed. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Um... What shall I call this painting? Can I do a painting request for payment? Yeah. Um, that size, £50 for a painting that size. Personal request, anything you want. Depends. Depends what you wanted. Or more for bigger, bigger sizes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll call it psychedelic tarantula.
Acrylic on canvas. Search. I don't know why it makes me search. Oh, that's too. That idea looks better on the painting than it does in real on the photograph. Do 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 do. How much I list it for? Twenty quid? Twenty five? Twenty five? I reckon that will. That'll be fine. Oh yeah, paintings of, paintings of dreams I had, definitely. That's something I'm planning to do. Oh, damn it. Right, let me see if I can get a good paint picture of this. I'm gonna put this straight on eBay and I'll put a link in the description. But I wanna get a decent picture of it. I feel like that I feel like the picture I put on is misleading. It like looks it looks like the colours look deeper. Colours look deeper than the I have to edit that picture, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely want to do that, actually. Mm -hmm. Let me open up Snapseed, see if I can colour match it better than what I've done already. Mm. Just trying to, I'm trying to get this picture looking accurate to the painting, but I don't even see it. It looks so bright. And uh, it's really not that bright in real life. Contrast is way down. Brightness is up, maybe. Shadows need changing. There we go. Maybe that's more accurate. It still looks a bit, uh, looks a bit contrasty, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be misleading on my eBay thing, but it's more like the picture, I think. So I'm do, I'm doing this on the stream so that I can like list it, and then I'll put a link for anyone watching. You can immediately put it on your watch list or bid on it or whatever you want. I 
kind of like that painting more though. I don't kind of like the picture more. Like it looks better on the. Oop. Savage Henry, hello. Hello. Okay. I'm going to put acrylic on canvas, psychedelic tarantula painting, acrylic canvas painted by artist Tom Dentith. There we go. List with displayed fees. Right, I'll put a link in the description for that, and I'll put a link in. Uh... No, I don't know. If I put it in description, it doesn't work, does it? I'll put it in the chat. There's me grifting here. Put a load of games and things on on eBay recently. So I've got a big list of shit. I'm trying to clear my house out of crap. As painted, I didn't put that shit. As painted live on YouTube. There we go. Link to the painting. You should buy that because it's great. Hey video trying a pickled onion monster munch and salad cream sandwich. I have neither pickled onion monster munch or salad cream. But I will I do want to try that. <laughs> if I update the thing. Right, there we go. So that is um live. I'm going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching and for the suggestion. I think it was Savage Henry who suggested that, wasn't it? Um, the only only difference between the finished piece, if someone buys it, is I'm going to paint the edges. So I'll probably do the edges like a yellow or orange or something, which will just bring out the colours real nice along there. But uh, apart from that, the finished picture is now on eBay. Fantastic work of art. Start a new Sim Legacy on Sims 2. You know what I was thinking of doing on Sims 2? Creating like myself in, in this house and just saying like, and having a stream where it's like, people tell me what to do and it's like they're controlling my life. But we're in Sims obviously, not in real life. And I'll do I'll do like whatever they say. <laughs> People can kill me off or whatever they want to do. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna end it here. And uh thanks for tuning in. I'll do another one probably next week. I don't know when, Monday. Although I need to do I really need to do a shrouded hand video, so I might be working on that at the beginning of the week. Um, I'll probably spend the rest of the day working on one. And uh, Okay, anyway. Cheers, everyone. And uh, how do I stop the stream? Okay.